Hey guys, so I wanted to show you firsthand how I am making a clothis. My dream closet office is becoming a reality. With this move, I have always wanted to have a closet office. If you look on Pinterest or online, there's so many cute ideas of great design for um, desks and office areas in small spaces, particularly in closets and nooks. And I have just loved them. And so I got a closet here and we took the doors off and I'm gonna show you what we have and I'm gonna show you my steps along the way to creating my perfect office. So here we have um, our office room. This was the closet. It's a six foot closet and we took the doors off um, of the track up there. And it's just this little empty space. So there is a shelf up there with quite a bit of storage space that I'm super excited about. I'll be storing um, some boxes and um, probably do some decorative boxes just to make it look pretty. And then there is a um, close clothing rod here. Now, if I really wanted, I probably could take it out. Right now, I'm going to leave it and perhaps do some hanging things. I'm not sure. So I'm going to leave it right now and we'll figure that out later. Uh, it's just white walls. I will be hanging things and doing some decorations, but I will not be painting or doing um, anything permanent. So the floor is just a basic uh, carpet. And there is a track here, I'm not sure, the track is obviously staying, but I'm not sure how my um, desk is going to work with my chair and everything there, I'll have to figure that out. So right now, this is just my blank canvas, and I'm going to start by putting my desk in there. Now, the reason that I love this space was because my desk has different pieces, it's in these cubicles, and you can build it and put whatever you want. Um, in it and it's exactly six feet. So I'm going to try to fit them all in here. I can also only use five feet um, and then put like a file cabinet or something over there. So I'll figure that out as we go. But I've got my computer, my chair. Um, I found, um, I got a tension rod, a shower curtain tension rod that's supposed to be six feet. I'm gonna put it up and see if it works. Um, and then I got these blue curtains from Target. Um, they are, um, faux silk so we'll see how they look okay so as you can see I have my cubes in here I have two file cabinets um, each of these cubes is um, I think it's it's a they're about a foot each uh, maybe a little more than a foot but I'm pretty sure they're just around 12 by 12 um, and then the top ones so they, they connect um, with little things and they just sit on top of each other real sturdy and my top ones have the brackets on them and these I, I bought this whole set from Michaels you can buy each cube individually they had different kinds this one has like two clear drawers and then magazine holder cubicles they have open ones that I have they also have uh, um, just all kinds of different um, ones and I'll show you the different ones I have. I have one more downstairs I've got to go and get but my piece of, of desk you buy these separately and then I just bolt that right on top um, of these and it becomes my desk that I put my chair under here. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so things didn't work out exactly how I envisioned, but I've got my monitor and my keyboard and everything up there. Here's my little desk space for my chair and sitting at, and then I have my two file cabinets here. And I actually, I had two cubes. This is my, um, my files, my work, and uh, I really like this one and so I decided to put this one up on top of the file cabinet so that makes three up and then on top is my um, other desktop organizer that is not organized yet because that was full of moving stuff um, and so from a distance it kind of looks like this so far I am still going to work on that corner um, and then I'm gonna be hanging some like hanging files and other decor and stuff up but this is what it looks like right now we'll see how it works in a little bit. Ok, 
Okay, so the cloth is continues. This, I put my project on hold and it's actually been about a week since I started and all I've done is bring out all my stuff. Yeah, I brought all the office stuff out of storage and dumped it here. So my next goal is to actually do some organization, get some things on the wall and get this going. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Um, I have over here, we've got just bins of storage filing cabinet stuff that's just going to have to kind of stay there. But what I did, I'm super excited, what I wanted to do on this top shelf is put some of these large decorative boxes and fill them with, you know, all this random office stuff that I don't want anybody to have to look at that I don't want to have to look at. So I got a whole bunch of these boxes and my goal is going to be to fill them up and put them up there and hopefully get rid of some of this clutter. So I got a whole bunch of these. I got six of them at Ross. Um, I got them at Ross because they're a little bit cheaper. The ones, these have Velcro um, and then these over here have the magnet clothes. The magnet clothes are more expensive than the Velcro ones. So these Velcro ones, these two big ones, um, these were $8, these were $7, the smaller ones. And then um, the two magnet ones, uh, I think they were like seven. And so they're a little bit more. But I got ones that I really loved. Um, and they're significantly cheaper than like the ones that you get at Michael's. Uh, like this one at Michael's was regularly priced like $9 for just this little tiny one. I of course got it on sale, but um, these are just a much better deal at, um, at least the ones at my Ross. So I have filled this one with envelopes, um, lots of envelopes. I've got business envelopes, the little, the, um, little ones, and then six by nines. And then this is kind of my cards and correspondence um, and paper to make cards and stuff. Just some random things I had and I'm putting them in that box. I just had to show you the whole thing here. This is, this is my disaster right now. <laughs> I actually don't have as much stuff as I used to have. Uh, but yeah, this is still a lot of stuff. So I pretty much have the entire room full of stuff. But I did accomplish one thing, other than pulling things out. I put these um, wall pocket files up. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use them for, but they are now hanging on the wall. Um, so that is another organizational piece that I'm super excited about. And we also put up, and I haven't filled them out yet, but our family command center is here. We have um, a monthly calendar. I was using this and probably will continue to use this for my YouTube videos, um, marking, like I said, nothing's on here right now, but marking what days different videos come out and when I'm gonna film and stuff. And then we also have a just plain family communication board and we can just write notes to each other and things to do, family meeting stuff, whatever. Um, but those are hanging on our wall here, I'll show you, um, by the front door of the office. So that is a really cool thing. And then my office is just adjacent. So, okay, I'm gonna go do some more work and show you some finished products. All right, some organization has happened. Um, so here's my file cabinet, which this is most of my action files and um, important papers. On top is a bin for a catch-all for like mail and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, over here, I have the bottom one is filled with just random office supplies. Um, the second one has our Angel Ink business stuff, our store, everything, um, extra books. Right now, this bin has um, all the things that I have been published in, uh, the books and magazines I'm storing in there. And then up here is all paper. So those are just going to be stacked and stored there because we don't have a closet. I wanted some really neat... Um, storage bins. I got them from Staples. They're the really useful boxes. They are expensive, but they are really sturdy and I love them. So they come in different colors and um, this was the perfect size. So I love that. Then we've got over here, I just finished the top. Aww. 
So I have my diplomas back up on the wall. Um, and then I have two really big boxes on the side, two medium boxes, and some writing books. So in our really big box over here, I've got cards and envelopes. Then over here I have um, bubble mailers and tape, a bunch of writing books. In this one I've got um, empty blank CDs and report covers for my courses. And finally folders, binders, and labels. So that's just kind of some random office storage is made pretty and I'm super excited. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, I also kind of set, this is kind of a corner I didn't know what to do with. I was thinking about a floating shelf, but now I'm thinking probably not. Um, so right now that's kind of just what I have there. And then next I've got to deal with all of the stuff on the desk and the remainders of the stuff on the floor. But um, a lot of stuff I did get is going out of the room, going to other places, and so I'm really happy with what it's looking like so far. I probably am going to take a break for the day and then I'll start up tomorrow and we'll keep going on this project. Okay guys, my clothes has had so much work done on it, it is almost complete. So I'm just going to show you um, a little bit of what I've done. Um, I set up these three hanging files. This is my active file. Um, so in here it goes bills to be paid, uh, receipts that I need to deal with yet, just stuff that is going on right now. Um, and they can stay in there until something happens. And then just in case I need a place to put things to file, receipts or whatever, um, I do have a to file folder here. And then this one is for business. Anything, I don't know exactly what will go in there, but any business receipts, any papers that I need to deal with or tape with me, whatever, it's just there. Um, so those are there, easy access for me. Over here, um, I have this little workstation that I picked up at Michael's a while ago to go with my um, desk set. And I kind of labeled this first pocket back here is for the courses that I'm working on and the courses that I'm creating and writing. This pocket is for my blog, so you see I have my, my blog planner in here and any notes or ideas get stuck in there. These are just little storage things. I've got stamps and other little papers. Uh, this drawer doesn't really open very well, but I have like old business cards and stuff in there right now. And I got my business card there. On these shelves I keep um, YouTube and other stuff um, related to that. I have the Angel Ink stuff. Um, just anything that needs to be done with the businesses. And then I got Potos, which is our girls' conference. So anything that we're dealing with there. Over in this little cubby I have my hard drive and backups. I've got all my cameras over here and I have an open, open space. Yay! These are other filing bins, um, filing storage for more of like my classes and things that I don't use very much, old papers, writing and stuff. Under my files over here I have my computer bags, my Office Martin, my laptop bag, um, my like um, it's actually a craft thing on wheels but my rolling bag for conferences or whatever um, some scratch paper over here my business files business stuff long reach stapler and clipboard just kind of stuck over there under my desk I have my tripod and my organizing handbook and then over here I just have office supplies pens of different kinds notebooks both used and unused um, my what are these called? Paper slicer. And I also have a wireless keyboard and mouse. So when those are not in use and the computer's off, I can put those under here and have a clean desktop. And my label maker and um, some CDs I need to listen to and some stuff like that. So that is over here. And I'll show you. The floor is clean. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have gone through so much stuff. So. The last bit I'm going to work on is the final design pieces. I have a couple of things I want to put on the walls and um, I want to see if I can cover these buckets and 
So after I finish all that, I will show it to you and that will be almost the finishing of the clothes. I am so excited. It is almost done. So here's the decor I did. I actually, um, this is scrappy paper. I cut one inch strips um, of a very similar kind. It's just a black lace. I actually used this, um, this lace and then also this pink scrapper paper. Those were a part of my wedding invitations that I handmade. So I love this pattern and it just has a really good vibe for me. So I decided to line the wall with the black lace. Um, just to give a little bit of pop of color. I didn't want to do wallpaper. I didn't want to paint. So that's just a pop of color. And then I had these little stickers, these little scrapbooking stickers. They say like memories. Uh, this one says love family um, and like blessings and different things all the way down and the same pack of stickers came with um, a couple little um, sayings and so this one says blessed are they who give without remembering and receive without forgetting and I thought that was really cute and then these also came with it this one is just plain design and this one says and I can get it to focus uh, but it says these are my blessings and then my dream holder is up in the wall and I have three of these. These are just little pails from Target. I've thought about getting four but then I'm actually thinking two might be okay. So what I did was I covered half of them <laughs> with scrapbook paper and I just cut little strips and mod podged them on but I left the, black, the back there because you're not going to see it anyway. Um, I just didn't feel like doing it. So I did the front and in this one I'm just keeping some different post-it notes, some bigger ones and some little ones. Right now I just have a cute little key hanging here because I love keys and I'll probably hang keys from the other two. And then the second one, this one's actually still drying. Um, I just have a calculator I use all the time and a little scissors. So they're just kind of easy access. Um, all my pens are right down here. I was going to hang this but I actually think that's a perfect place for it to be stored. So. That is the decor. Let me show you the whole thing. Um, it's kind of hard to see the whole thing, but that's what it looks like from here. Um, and then the top, of course. And then there's one final piece, my curtains. So I will show you what it looks like when the curtains are up. So here it is with the curtains on. Floor to ceiling. I went ahead and um, just tied some ribbons on here, some little bows. And so that is when, it op when it's open, there's more light by the computer. I could also push them all to one side if I needed to. So to close them, I can also, if I just want um, them partially closed, I can take off the ribbons and have them kind of partial closed or in the middle or however I want and all the way they do close all the way so you couldn't even tell what was back there um, it's completely covered and these curtains are from Target I did hang them on a curtain on a shower curtain rod a six foot shower curtain rod all the way at the top of the truck um, that the doors were on and they go all the way to the floor. So that is my Colophis and I am so, so excited. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I think it is amazing. I am so thrilled to use this and it is so much fun. So thanks for watching my creation of a clothes. We'll see you next time.